Hi, I'm Jesse Bartholomew, VP of Product at Coaster Cycles. Here to talk a little bit about what you need to know to get started with your freighter all weather and some safety things to keep in mind each day you head out for a ride. The freighter all weather has two batteries. The Bosch e-bike battery that attaches here and also a 12 volt battery in this compartment here. When the bike first ships to you, this battery will not be connected and ideally this gets charged daily or, or nightly. And so this is the first thing you're gonna need to do each day before you start your ride. Uh, the battery new comes with these plastic connectors. You can just remove those. And then there's a black wire and a red wire. And obviously you need to connect the red wire with the red connector and the black wire with the black connector. There's Velcro on the bottom of the battery to secure it once you've connected it. Just match that up and the battery will remain in place. Each bike ships with two identical key sets that include the RFID key fob, the Bosch and Abus lock keys, and the door lock key. So once the 12 volt battery is connected and the Bosch battery is installed, the blue RFID key fob will turn the bike on by just holding the key fob over the sensor. So we've got our batteries installed We've got the RFID um, turned on with that blue key fob. Now we want to do just an overall safety check before we actually ride the bike. And this is primarily a visual inspection, but there's a few th key things to take a look at. Number one, the brakes. Um, make sure that the uh, parking brakes release properly and that the brakes engage when you squeeze each lever and that there's good pressure. You don't want the lever to come all the way towards the bar you want a nice uh, short throw before the brakes engage. The next thing is to just visually inspect the drivetrain. Um, you can check the chain tension, make sure the chain is obviously on and that the pedals and crank rotate. And then usually just a visual walk around to make sure all the pieces and parts are where they should be on the bike, looking for any signs of damage, um, being sure to check the tire pressure on all three tires. Make sure there's no debris or cuts or gashes in the tires that could cause a flat tire later on. Um, and just generally walk around, make sure everything looks like it's in its place. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is just make sure that everything's comfortable for the rider and set up safely. Starting with the saddle, you can adjust this up and down. You can even adjust the fore aft of the saddle if you want to, but it's not a quick release. You'll need a wrench to do that. But for most of the most cases, uh, the fore aft of the saddle should be sufficient. And you're going to want to just hop on once you've got the saddle where you think you want it. Make sure you can reach the full uh, pedal stroke. And again, check your brake levers, make sure everything feels comfortable and that you've got a good field of vision. You can also check the backup camera, make sure you've got a clear view and there's nothing obstructing the camera and that your Bosch display is powered on and ready to go. The last thing we're going to want to do is adjust our side view mirrors. Just fold these out. They're fully adjustable so that you can get maximum field of vision on each side. For more information about Coaster Cycles, check out CoasterCycles.com.